Hello, my name is Aaron Gilbert. I'm the president and owner of Family Preparedness Outlet based here in Colorado. And I've been a ham operator for the last couple of years. I have my general's license. And today I'd like to share with you the uh, Baofeng BF-F8HP. It's a new ham radio that's coming from good old China. And they have done a great job of putting together this uh, piece of equipment and have done it at a very affordable price. And so one of the things I'd like to do uh, first is show you how this radio is operated. Um, this is the on off button up here. You just twist it to the right when you get it. And you'll notice it said channel mode when it comes on first. The channel mode has to do, oops, let's change the stand station real quick. Um, this uh, radio has been pre-programmed with about 25 stations already and to locate those channels you have to be in channel mode. Now to balance back and forth between channel mode and the frequency mode you push the orange button here on top it says VFO slash MR. And on frequency mode you can type in the frequency that you want to use. And um, if there's anybody else on that same frequency, you should be able to hear them. However, if you're not a ham radio operator, I would probably recommend that you just stick over here on frequency channel mode, mode, on channel mode, excuse me. Now, channel mode has a top screen, a top line, and a bottom line. That's uh, line A and line B. And this blue button here next to my thumb is the one that you use to bounce back and forth. So the AB um, function on this radio allows you to quickly bounce between two radio stations um, at the single touch of a button. And so to change your stations, you use these up and down arrows when you're in channel mode. So I'm going to push the down button. One, zero, and I'm pushing that to nine. Um, on this radio, I program channel 9 to track those storm chasers, which right now there's a big storm going um, in the general area, so we might hear something on there um, soon. Um, but uh, let me show you some of the features of this radio as well. Oh, there's one of the storm chasers now. He's mobile. I might as well change the station to one that's not well so used. All right, so... Going back here on the side, this radio has three buttons on the side. This first one is the push to talk button. When you need to call for help, you want to set your channel on one of the ham radio stations, and then you'll push the push to talk button, and you will call for help. And any ham operator that hears you is instructed to take your information and pass it on to authority. So this will be a very useful tool if you get caught out in a situation where your family needs help. Now another feature right here in the bottom is this bottom button. You push that one and you'll notice it's got a nice LED light. Very useful for finding your keys in the dark. Also has a strobe light and then this orange button on top if you push that button once You can program your favorite FM radio station on this radio. And if uh, somebody broadcasts on the ham radio station that you're listening to, it'll automatically turn off the radio and you'll hear the voice of whoever it was that was talking. But this is a good function for you able to listen to local news and hear what's going on. So I'll push it one more time and turn it off. Now there's a siren that's built into this uh, radio. So if you ever needed to um, blast a siren at somebody who was say it was getting ready to chase you, you just push down hold this orange button and you have a very annoying noise to scare them away. Not saying that's actually going to work, but it's going to make them much more annoyed. Alright, so on this side here is where your mic goes. It comes with a hands-free mic and earpiece. Plugs in there and you can put it a lapel, clip it onto your shirt and Use this little clip to hook it on your belt, which when it comes from the, the box, this is not attached. You just have to unscrew some of these screws on top and 
screwed on there. Now this radio has a, an extended lithium battery. Um, this battery is probably going to last you three to four days, just keeping it on 24/7. Um, if you want to, one of the things I recommend when you get the radio first in the box is that you charge it all the way to the top and then you turn it off and you can leave it there like that. And I've left my last radio on for, let's see, six months. Turn it on and it still had full charge. Um, not a problem. Um, when, you, when you start seeing, you'll see the little battery symbol there in the top corner. Uh, when you get down to two bars... I'd probably recommend discharging the power all the way from this battery and then charging it all the way back up again uh, with the charger because uh, it's, you know, lithium, you want it to, to uh, get the maximum life out of it and that means fully discharging it and then charging it up again. Um, this radio operates at 8 watts. It's twice as much as what a lot of radios out there are broadcasting at they usually broadcast at only about four maybe five watts being at eight watts is one of the most uh, powerful hand radios that we carry out in the market and then the other thing that's new about this radio is that it's got this new high gain antenna which is an improvement over the previous one using this radio i've been able to communicate with ham radio operators up to 40 50 miles away from where i'm at and uh, if you connect with what's called a repeater they can actually double your um, coverage area by repeating your message um, the other direction on the other side of the mountain even further. So there's some really neat functions that you can learn when you become a ham radio operator if you so choose to be one one day. Um, one of the things I wanted to let you know also is I built a little cheat sheet and I attach it with a little hole onto the lanyard. On this cheat sheet and if you want me to help you do this, if you become a customer of mine, is I'll program on to it ham radio stations that allow you to listen to what's going on. I've got weather stations. I've got a couple groups of people that I listen to. And then I've got also these County 1 and two, County 2 is the uh, Douglas County and the Elbert County's um, sheriff offices. The green channels I put on here are FRS channels, channels 1 through 6. That means that you can use this radio as a walkie-talkie to communicate with other people who have those regular walkie-talkies. Those channels only broadcast at about half a watt, but it's still going to um, communicate with those other guys. Then I have these light green stations. Those are GRMS radio stations, which basically allows you to um, broadcast up to 8 watts, but you don't have to have a license to, to use those stations. In other words, you don't have to take a test. Uh, you do have to pay an annual fee of $85 per family, and then you can use this, your whole family can use uh, these stations. And then I've programmed a few more, these are called repeaters, um, ham radio stations, uh, except for this one here, 21. 21 is a national call for help, and I'll talk about that in a second, um, more in a second. On the back, I also put some more instructions. The ham radio stations are, uh, you are not to broadcast on those stations um, if you do not have a ham radio license, unless it's an emergency. So please uh, don't let your children play with the radios. Uh, it's important that they um, know that you could get in trouble if you were to um, use a lot, utilize it for inappropriate actions without having a license. The green stations around here are are. You know, kids can play on those stations all they want. The light green ones, I told you, the GRMS. Now, one thing I, I put on here as instructions is if you're part of a group, say you're part of a church group or um, a neighborhood watch group, and there's an extended power outage, one of the things I recommend is that everybody turn on their radios at 7 p.m. every night on a selected channel. Now, the group that I'm part of, we told them to turn to channel 1 at 7 p.m. And then I will broadcast news about what's going on, what I hear, and any instructions that we need to pass on. And then the last thing I also reinforce them is to know if you get stuck anywhere in the country and you're traveling, and turn to channel 21 and broadcast for help if you, if you run into difficulty. All right. So, um, again, I recommend that every family in America should own a ham radio. 